Good morning guys So today is finally the day that me and Zoe is going for our 3 weeks road trip So the first place that we are going to is Pulau Pangkor which is about a 3.5 hour journey away from where we are and there's two main roads we can go to Pulau Pangkor The first main road is a highway The normal highway that everybody uses The most smoothest, the fastest road is a highway But since this is a road trip We plan to take the inner road Which is about 20 minutes longer than the highway But we get to see more things So actually our initial plan was actually to go to Sekinjang But then this is not the season to go to Sekinjang So we decided to cancel that part And straight head on to Pulau Pangkor So since there's an opportunity for us to drive past the Kinchang to Pulau Pangko. We're just going to do it and hopefully there's something nice there. So we have finally arrived in Sekinjang! Hi! <laughs> it took us longer than expected because we took the wrong route just now so it's currently like 2.15 and we were supposed to be at Pulau Pangko at this time so hopefully we still can make it in time later on because we have to go to Lumut and take a ferry from Lumut to Pangko so it's going to take a, another two and a half hour journey to Pangko which initially that I said it was supposed to take about three hours from our place so hopefully we still can uh, make it in time to Pula Pangko But for now we're just going to chill in Sekinjang for a little while And then we're going to be on the road again to Pula Pangko So there's actually nothing much to do in Sekinjang Besides eating the seafood, coming to see the wishing tree That red one over there I'll show you on the wow And see this Coca-Cola can which there's actually nothing nothing inside besides uh, souvenir clothes and a uh, keychain and a beach that is not a beach because the beach sea level is so low and dirty that you can't even go inside unless you want to get dirty so but people mainly come here for the seafood yeah people come here for the seafood and they come here for the party fuel it's just that now it's not a season for the party fuel so the party fuel is just black if you come on the right season the party fuel here will be green I thought I can see the beach while driving along the road because when I look on the map we are driving here and the beach is just here but it's all blocked by this house and trees so there's no beach along the road <laughs> anyway we are going to Pula Bangkok right now Here at uh, the Panko Jetty, and it's like three hours later, a very, very long car ride. So, right now, we have about 20 more minutes before the next jetty depart. We have to quickly go and buy a ticket, and hopefully, we still can catch a jetty to Panko. See that we are carrying too much luggage to Panko, but we don't want to leave anything in the car. One thing we didn't realize is that we have to pay 15 ringgit to park per day at the car park here. 
thought it was only going to be like maybe like 5 bucks per day but it turns out it needs to be about 15 bucks per day if you want to park closer to the jetty it's about 20 bucks per day Woo. but if you come on a weekend it's going to be 20 bucks per day or so so next time if you want to come beware of that because there was no information saying that we have to pay 20 bucks per day at the parking bay here so now let's go back to get one thing I forgot to mention is we are currently at Marina Island not the Lumut jetty because there's two jetty spots you can go to uh, Pulau Pangko one is the Marina Island, one is the Lumut. The differences is Lumut Jetty to Panko it takes about half an hour, right? Yeah, correct. And the Marina Jetty to Pula Panko takes only about 10 minutes, right? Yeah. And the price difference is here is 10 bucks, there is Lumut is 5 bucks. So we decided to go on a fast jetty because we are already late. So we got our ticket. Time to go and catch that ferry. Come on a weekday and there's not many people. Come on a weekend and you'll be packed, you have to wait for your ferry to come. The window is too dirty for me to show you outside. Okay. I'm already tired trying to carry all the things from the car to the ferry. How are you feeling? Feeling alright so far. So far so good. Uh, hopefully I can reach back to the hotel as soon as possible and then I can take a quick rest. Then we can head out to the beach. We also have to eat lunch. Oh, I totally forgot about lunch. It's currently almost 5 p.m. and we still have not had lunch. And we are both very, very hungry. So hopefully we can reach the hotel as soon as possible and put our stuff down and have lunch. Couldn't wait any longer. Too hungry so we put up some snacks. Thank God we bring a lot, lot, lot of snacks today. Oh, this, this biscuit really saved the day. I was so hungry but my hand was shaking. Because we didn't eat lunch. Yeah, but anyway, the Ferry is moving, we will arrive Bangkok very very soon. Hopefully the beach is clean. Exciting. Exciting. Let's go. Eat first. I'm waiting for you. Right now I'm thinking how are we gonna get to our hotel because there's a lot of people waiting here and I'm sure they're all gonna scam you for higher rates and I want the lowest rate possible to our hotel. So we have to go further down and ask for cheap rates. Or by cab. Yeah, cab lock, taxi. Okay, I'll yeah, wait here with all my luggage while Zoe go and ask because if you're having a lot of luggage and a camera around they will say, okay, this is typical tourist. We're gonna mark up the price for you. So hopefully, by Zoe going alone, that person will give us a cheaper rate. So how? So basically, they said we can get a cat, but it's charged 10 ringgit. Or we can rent a taxi. I mean, not a taxi, I rent a car tomorrow. I think they can rent a car because that's what they say, but we can rent like a car. Maybe it's yeah, yeah, actually, really. actually, can, can, can motorbike also. It's just that. How do we ride? Yeah, I don't think we can ride motorbike with all our luggage. Maybe tomorrow lah, but, but tomorrow we can decide either one to ride a motorbike or we want to rent a car. Because rent a car is tomorrow full day until the next day. One o'clock is about 70 ringgit. I think we just uh, rent a cab to a hotel first lah. Then we decide. Okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Okay. All the taxi in uh, Pulau Pangko is in this pink van. In this pink van. 
And most of the time you have to ask for the price first before you get onto the car. That way you don't get caught. Right now we're going to a hotel. Excited, very excited. Ayo yo gugu. It's very hot here. So make sure you wear some casual wear here too. Okay, it was just like a 5 minute ride on that, right? Yeah, 5 minute ride, very new, but we cannot walk. Yeah, it's just like a 5 minute ride on there. Finally arrived in our hotel room and I got aircon once again because it's very hot outside so let me give you a quick tour of the hotel room so this is where you enter the hotel room your left is a toilet yes I also didn't see it there's a bathtub Ooh. and then there's a closet here some coffee tea set let's put your bag put a bag here and get one free Zoe and a queen size bed, TV, that's me, and a mirror. And this is our view. Not too bad lah, I would say. The sun is there, so later we can have a nice awesome time lapse of the sunset. I have one very 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 sad news which is there is no Wi-Fi. No, no Wi-Fi means I can't upload my vlog, so I'm going to find a way on how I'm going to get a Wi-Fi and if there's no vlog tomorrow, please forgive me. I'm going to edit the vlog still. If there's internet, there definitely will be a vlog. So if tomorrow I don't upload, the next couple of days I will just cover back. Right now we're out of the hotel. We are thinking whether to rent a bike or rent a car tomorrow because the taxi here are really very expensive that's not the right from uh, the jetty to a hotel is like 5 minutes but they charge us 10 bucks so it's ridiculously expensive to get a tour around this whole island with a taxi they charge you about 70 bucks if you rent a car it will also cost you 70 ringgit so most likely we're going to rent a car right now we're just going to walk around this place just get familiar with the surrounding of our hotel first so the adventure will start tomorrow Wandering circles on, around our hotel looking for the beach. I mean, actual fact is we just have to come out and walk straight, we already reached the beach. Ah, yeah, what is Zoe doing? Huh? They're yeah, currently right here. Oh, to go to Nepal Yeah, so tomorrow we want to come all the way here. All activities around this place. And we're gonna go jungle trekking tomorrow. So probably we rent a car tomorrow and we just go all around the whole of Pula Panko. There's not many people around. Oh, the sun. Use the camera to block the sun. There's not many people around this beach right now. As you can see, so clear. But the water is not as clear. La. The water is alright, swimmable, but not crystal clear.
Done with the beach. Was a good chillax moment. Yeah. Always enjoy the moment by the beach with the sand and the water and the swing. Yeah. Now looking for places to eat and we're gonna call it a night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for watching.